happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. It's once more privilege and opportunity to say thanks to God and in doing so, spending special time with Him, being in His presence. Today, we want to look at a passage of Scripture coming from Psalms 32, verse 5. And I'm going to read it from the New Century Version or NCV. It says, Then I confessed my sins to you and didn't hide my guilt. I said, I will confess my sins to the Lord and you forgave my guilt. Let's have a word of prayer. Thank you, dear Father, for waking us up on this beautiful Sabbath morning, giving us another opportunity whereby we can come into your presence with praise. This morning, we ask that you would send your Holy Spirit to be amongst us and to bless us even as we listen to your voice speaking to us in Jesus' name. With thanks we pray. Amen. Now the same passage of scripture coming from the King James Version reads, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. You see, when you your conscience is killing you from the weight of sin. Seek forgiveness from the only one who has the power to forgive, Jesus Christ. Forgiveness is the only thing that will bring you peace. Don't wallow in self-pity or self-righteousness. Don't try and justify the reasons you sinned or place the blame on someone else. Sinning does not kill God's love for you. He hates sin, but loves the sinner. Humble yourself before God, confessing your sin and ask for forgiveness with a truly repentant heart. Jesus stands ready to forgive you and cleanse you from all your unrighteousness. When you are walking with Jesus, nothing can separate you from him. So never leave the safety of his presence. Allow God to heal your heart and enjoy the comfort and joy of his sweet forgiveness. The safest place you can be is in the arms of Jesus. Claim him today as your Lord and Savior and reach out and accept his gift of unconditional love. Do you want it any better than that? Can it be said any better than that? Think carefully that we are serving a God who is so concerned about you so even when you sin, all he's asking you to do is to confess. Bring it before him. Don't make excuses. Excuses never work and will never work. Face it like a man. Face it like a woman. The truth is the truth. You have sinned. You have come short of the glory of God. The only thing you can do it, bring it to him, ask him to forgive you and to give you the strength so that you can carry on. And this is the only way and the best way to deal with your sinful situation. He can bring you forgiveness and allow peace to reign in your heart. Thank you, dear Father, for assuring us that you are there for us, assuring us that our sins can be taken off, taken care of, Help us to understand that all we, you, you ask us to do is bring them all to Jesus. He can take care of them. Thank you again, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.